boys and girls. I wanted to talk to you today about context clues and read a special story to you. Um, last week, Miss Dobbins did an anchor chart with you on context clues. And she talked about how context clues are when you use clues in a story or in a sentence to figure out the meaning of a new word that you don't know. And so I'm going to read you this book today called The Word Collector, which is great to use with context clues because we oftentimes can't figure out what a new word means. And so there are lots of words in this story that you may not know what they mean, but they will give you some clues along the way. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Do you have an idea what he collected? I hope you do from the title of the story. Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. So pleasant, what do you think? If you had to think about that word and use clues from the, the sentence, he collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. And if something was perfect and it was pleasant, do you think that meant it was good or bad? I hope you said good because pleasant means a good thing. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. Willow, willow tea shop. Do you notice that's a willow tree? Yeah. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Wizard of Oz, and he's writing down the word emerald. And if you look at the clues in this picture, Anybody know what the word emerald means? Emerald is a green color. There are gems that people make into earrings and necklaces that are called emeralds. Short and sweet words, spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two syllable treats, treasure, motif, whisper, candid, hover, glimmer. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Geometry, guacamole, kaleidoscope, wonderful, symphony. And if you remember, syllables is talking about how many sounds there are in that word, like kaleidoscope, symphony. Those are syllables. There were words he did not know the meaning at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Torrential, molasses, Tyrannosaurus rex, smudge, and bellow. Look at bellow. Looking at that lion, what do you think bellow means? If you bellow something out, that means you say it really loud. Sometimes people bellow songs when they sing them. Jerome filled his scrapbook with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collection grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day while transporting them. Hmm, what do you think transporting means? Let's look at the picture. Transport means to move something. Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Oh no. Poor Jerome. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collection had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words, blue harmony, silent orchestra, dream cloud, royal flock. Let's name some of them. Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace. Words he had not imagined being side by side. Savor, dreams. Cascading, stars. Oops. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to write songs. They moved and they delighted. Delighted, do you think that means 
good or bad? What do you think the word delighted means? Let's look at some clues in the picture. Do the people listening to the song look delighted? That means happy or satisfied. Some of his simplest words were the most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Those are nice things to say to everybody, aren't they? Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. Molecule, brilliance, brother, light, bungalow, harmony, gaggle, bohemian, ontomontopoeia. We're going to talk about that word later on this year. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. My goodness, look at his collection. That is huge. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. Oh my goodness. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Oh look, she's got hope. And I can't read that one. Harmony and honor. All words. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. So if he didn't have any words, it was indescribable. He couldn't even think of any words. And then on the back page, I love this. The author gives us a little... Um, saying to end with, it says, reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. And I know that we can all make the world a better place if we just try and we be kind. I hope you enjoyed my story today. I hope you thought about context clues and how when we're reading a story, if we look at the sentence that the word is in that we're unsure of, or if we look at the pictures, a lot of times those will give us clues as to what the word means. Keep reading and keep learning new words. See y'all later.